I want to show you a concept that I had regarding solar panels. made a greenhouse slash solar panel support stand and if you think about it uh, you know all the arrays that are out there big green movement you're putting the steel in place solidly fastening it to the ground so it can support pvs photovoltaic cells well why not just add another 600 bucks and, and close that so here's the deal if you look at these pvs these are 370 watt pvs they're only about, what, 18% efficient, 12 to 18% efficient, right? Well, the other 82% of that energy coming from the sun is just thrown away. So in this case, you know, it's just basic uh, first law of thermodynamics. Energy can't be created or destroyed, just transferred. So the thought was, why not build a shed, a barn, whatever you want to call it, greenhouse, put PVs on as the roof, and then glaze the whole side with polycarbonate. So I have polycarbonate down here, and uh, you know I've trimmed it out, still need to put some bead in there. And what I did too that's kind of different is I used uh, this, this bottom, this female butt joint portion as the trim to hold down panels, as well as screwing them in from the backside. So let me show you how well this worked out. I think it's pretty cool. I have a side door as well as a vent. And what I'm gonna do is put a battery room in the other side. The benefit of that is I don't have to worry about keeping the batteries um, warm in the wintertime. So when you come in here and you feel this side here, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I think it's what, February 20th or something. But if you feel that, it's warm. And all that radiates down and you can see, I just closed, the, um, closed it up today. It's still not even fully closed. I have uh, air blowing in through this huge gap down here, and I got a few gaps all over the place like that. So I, I still need to get things done, but all the snow is melted already, even though I just sealed it up. So what I'll end up doing is closing off the end over here, and uh, I'll end up just putting a little battery storage area over here put some insulation on the walls. If it gets too hot in the summer, just pop open the vents. I built a vent here for the PV room or the battery room. Just pop that open and presto, you can cool it down. So it's kind of a good concept. Seems to be working just as I had planned. Uh, I just got to get the ground thawed and I'll put dirt around the sides to cover the gap at the bottom. And then I'll do a little caulking here and there to seal it up. But this will get you here where I'm at. It's like eight months of the year. It's really cold. So this is just dynamite. You know, you're going to pay the same amount for, um, actually it's quite a bit more. Roofing metal is like 329 a square foot. Your polycarbonate is like 90 cents a square foot, what I'm using here. So, I mean, no matter how I look at it, using polycarbonate for a shed like this and then using your, your roof as PVs, it saves money and it warms the place and you get electricity. This is six and a half kilowatts here. So it's a pretty dang cool array. I'll go ahead and show you as I wired it up, show you what I end up doing, but it should look pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a good day.